first of all guys, I want to say I'm really sorry for the awful lighting in this apartment. I just so happened to pick the worst lit apartment in San Marcos, so go me. Today we're going to be talking about budgeting. I love budgeting. I don't know if you know what today is, but today for me is my favorite day of the month. It's payday! Everybody loves payday. But there's one more reason why I like payday. It means I get to go and fill up my envelopes. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the Dave Ramsey cash envelope system. Some of you may know what this is, some of you may not, so I'm going to go ahead and kind of recap what it does. So if you're like me and you have a little bit of a tendency to overspend in some areas of your budget like entertainment and eating out, groceries, uh, stuff for my dog, I have a big problem of just spending and swiping that card and not knowing how much I'm spending on each thing. Now there's wonderful apps out there like Mint that will tell you at the end of the week, it'll give you a little pie chart of um, what you've spent most of your money on that week. It'll tell you this person has been spent on restaurants, this person has been spent on groceries, and mine tends to be too high. So I decided to start doing the Dave Ramsey cash envelope system. Now if you're paid once a month on salary, it's probably best to fill up your envelopes once a month. But even though I am being paid by month, I do get several little things throughout the month and so I've decided to do it on a two week basis. So when I get things like money from voice lessons, um, just other little things that come in, I can do it on a two week basis instead of having to base it all on maybe I'm going to teach this week, maybe I'm not. It's just much easier for me to do it in two week increments. Now comes the envelope part. So what you're going to have to do is first give yourself a couple of categories where you know you overspend. Maybe it's clothing, maybe it's entertainment, maybe it's groceries, maybe it's gas, who knows. But list out those things and then for your month or two week or one week basis, give yourself a budget of how much you want to spend. Write that down. Then you're going to go to the ATM and pull out the cash for that amount. Lots of people have envelopes, but I found the cutest little booklet and it's called The Spend Well by Cariel and I love it. I found it on Etsy. I'll link it down below. I think it was $29.99, but I could be completely wrong. It's got this cute little cover and then on the inside it's got my envelopes. Not only does it have my envelopes, but I can put at the top what the category is and then it gives you a space to do the date, what item you've bought, the plus or minus if you're depositing or you've spent your money, and then what the total balance of the envelope is. So I love this. They also give you a lot of different envelopes. I don't remember how many there is, but there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20 different envelopes just in this booklet. It's very small. I mean, you can see it's not too big. It'll fit in your purse. Because you might be a little worried about your money coming out the top of these envelopes or somebody stealing them, they do give you a cute little hair tie looking thing to go around it. And I really like that idea. That way it's not so easy for things to fall out or be stolen. Plus, it looks like a journal. Who's gonna walk up and steal a journal? I wouldn't steal a journal. I can't even keep up with my own thoughts. Why would I wanna see somebody else's? I think this is a genius idea. So thanks, Cariel. I cannot wait to put your link down below. Now we get to the stuffing part, or my favorite part. So my categories that I have put together are groceries, gas, entertainment and eating out, Shotzi, miscellaneous, save, and medical. So then I went to the bank, pulled out a whole bunch of cash to put in my envelopes. And I'm gonna show you how much I put in each category and then show you how easy it is. For my groceries category, I'm going to give $120 for the next two weeks. That gives me about $60 every week to spend on groceries, milk, eggs, things I wanna make for the week. So I think that should be perfectly fine. I would just stick it into the envelope and we're good to go. My next category is gonna be gas. I'm gonna put $40 to gas for the next two weeks it takes about $20 to $25 to fill up my car one time, and I'm not planning any trips to go home or go to San Antonio or anything like that the next two weeks, so we should be good with 40. I may even have some left over. For the eating out category, my favorite category to overspend on, I've decided to give myself $50 because I'm being real with myself. I know that it may be a little bit of a challenge to only spend $25 a week on entertainment and eating out, but I also know that I couldn't just give myself like $10. It just wouldn't work. I would crack under the pressure. So, $50. A little tip for you. It is much harder to give away this big dollar bill. 
if I had put two 20s and a 10, I'm telling you it'd be so much easier to just throw it on the counter and be done with it. But because I'm having to give away this nice crisp $50 bill, I'm going to have a little bit of a harder time passing that on to someone else to break. Little Miss Shotzi's going to get $10 this week. This could go to food, shampoo, treats, toys. She's doing pretty good on all of those right now, so I may not even use it. But like I said, I can use it and roll it over for another month. For the miscellaneous category, I decided to do another $25. This is for things that aren't really on my grocery list, like food-wise. So, for example, this week I think I may use this $25 to buy a fan for my room because I am dying at night. It is so hot up here. So that's what miscellaneous category is for. For the save it category this two weeks, I'm only going to be able to give $25. If you watched my previous video about doing the two week spending fast, which by the way is going pretty well, um, this month is a little tough with finances, so $25 is about as good as it's going to get. And for my last category, I'm going to put $30 into my medical envelope. This goes for like co-pays or prescriptions. If you don't need it for the month, go ahead and roll it over the next month just in case something happens. Maybe you have a pretty big doctor bill. You'll be set to go. Now that I've got my envelopes filled, all I have to do now is spend. Or not spend. After your budgeting time is over and you've gone through the allotted time that you gave, whatever is left in these envelopes is up to you to use. So you could either leave it in there and not have to put as much in for the next month. You could roll it over to your savings. I will tell you that one of the hardest things to do with the cash envelope system is go to the grocery store, get a whole bunch of groceries, put them onto the conveyor belt, and realize that maybe you're a couple dollars short. It's going to be so tempting to pull two or three dollars out of the miscellaneous fund or the dog's fund. Don't do it. You're not training yourself that way. You're not challenging yourself that way. Go ahead and tell that cashier, I'm sorry, can you please put the cereal back? I'm on a cash envelope system and I only have $60 for the week. You'll be surprised at how much discipline you'll gain. Thank you so much for watching again today, guys. I'm really loving doing these budgeting tips, but if there's something else you'd like to see, more makeup tutorials, more cooking tutorials, more me talking, who knows? Put them down in the comments. I'd love to read them. I'd love to take your suggestions. I want to let y'all in on something amazing that happened a couple weeks ago. I was scrolling through my videos on YouTube, just kind of looking at the views, and I noticed that one of my videos, the HelloFresh review, had jumped up to 504 views. I just about fell out of my seat, may have even cursed a little bit, and realized that maybe I was going viral. Okay, maybe not, but that's still amazing considering I usually get around 100 views. 500 views is crazy. So over the last couple days, I've kind of been watching it and it's now jumped up to 959 views. If that hits 1,000, I may hit the roof. Update. This video was pre-recorded a couple days early and at that time I was at 504 views. I've now hit the 1,000 mark and I've even gone past it. I'm at 1.3 thousand views. I'm still freaking out every single day when I see that it's gone up and up and up and up and up. So thank you guys so much for watching. Somehow that video went viral-ish and we'll see how many more views we can get. Don't forget I post every Monday and Thursday and we'll see you next time. Oh. Uh.